Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if you're so motivated to do so. This is Wonders of a Black Woman. Hi, everybody. Well, another bait and switch. That's what a lot of people are saying. I remember that during the DNC convention in Chicago, a lot of people were saying that Beyonce was going to perform. Uh, you had some news anchors saying that uh, her dancers were um, backstage practicing and all this. And Beyonce didn't even show up at the DNC in Chicago. So uh, in Texas, they had a rally. The Harris campaign had a rally. And two members of Destiny's Child came. Uh, Kelly Rowland and Beyonce Knowles. Well, a lot of people came there for the rally, but a lot of people came there for the appearance of an expected performance of Beyonce. So, as you all know, perhaps that. Uh, they did not perform. Not Beyonce didn't perform. Kelly didn't perform. And a lot of people were angry because they feel that after a quick speech from Kelly and Beyonce, they exited and a lot of the audience left. A lot stayed and they were feeling a little heated because they came to this rally expecting Beyonce to perform. Now, Beyonce had released a statement that she had no intention and she never was in the works with the Harris campaign or the DNC to perform at the DNC. So how that rumor started, I don't know. A lot of people were saying, that it was just so the ratings for the DNC on the night Kamala was going to speak. They wanted to boost the ratings, so they pretended that Beyonce was going to be there, knowing full well that she wasn't going to be there. So with this rally here, a lot of people are saying that, which we all have, most of us have heard from Jaguar Wright, saying that those Diddy tapes contained a lot of footage, uh, allegedly, of Beyonce doing things, Jay-Z doing things. And so the rumor mill is putting out things that, well, you know, to quash these tapes getting public, um, they're pulling Beyonce's string as a Hail Mary, basically, for the Harris campaign to draw attention to the campaign to roll up the beehives, to go and cast their votes in allegiance to Beyonce uh, for Kamala Harris. And a lot of people are saying that, well, we like you, Beyonce, but can you pay our bills? Can you pay our telephone bill? Can you pay our automobile? I don't think you do. So when it comes to politics, you and me are through. So a lot of people are saying that because these celebrities that trot out, um, and of course there's no hardcore evidence that has been made public uh, linking Beyonce or Jay-Z to absolutely anything that Diddy has been doing. I just want to say that for the record. But a lot of people are saying that, you know, just because these celebrities endorse a political campaign doesn't mean that they understand or are advocating for what the average person on the street Beyonce obviously isn't affected by what's going on in the country as far as the inflation, the housing costs, the illegal immigration, the wars, you know, different things like that. Um, also, that aspect of maybe there's something that the, that 
they have on her to to pull her out. Also, they're saying that about Usher because Usher uh, went to a campaign rally in Atlanta on behalf of the Harris campaign. After a few weeks after he was on the View, they were trying to goat him to supporting the Harris campaign, but he said that he thinks people should just educate themselves and vote for whoever they want to vote for. And he doesn't tr try to get involved with politics. Well, I mean, I, it is kind of odd that after Diddy was busted and obviously um, access to a lot of his videos were seized, then some strings are being pulled. Why that is, I don't know. Why these celebrities that wrote, were reluctant before are now coming forward, we don't know. We are not behind the scenes. We do not know what's going on. So that's that. But this New York Times, New York Post article says Kamala Harris mocked after Beyonce failed to perform in her Texas rally baited people with a free concert. Now, this is the second time that that has happened. The second time that that has happened. Um, so if you're a real Beyonce fan, you know, I'm sure you're not too excited about the bait and the switch. Um, it was the best. It was the best thing they never had. After rumors swirled that Beyonce would perform at Vice President Kamala Harris's rally in Houston on Friday, fans were let down after the superstar failed to put on a show for the crowd of thirty thousand. Instead, the forty-three-year-old Texas Hold'em. Singer, a native of the Lone Star State, delivered a speech at Harris's event in which she endorsed the beat in the 2024 presidential election. And this, to me, is giving me the energy of just fake smile. It's just giving me the energy of I'm smiling because I have to. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments. The singer left the stage without performing, leaving critics to claim that Bay was snubbing the Democratic presidential nominee. Instead, 91-year-old Willie Nelson performed for the crowd. So you're expecting Beyonce and you get Willie Nelson. Okay. No offense to you, Willie. But, um, yeah, I don't think if you're expecting to see Beyonce perform and you get Willie Nelson. That's not even halfway a substitute. It's not even in the same music genre. Okay. Um, but yeah, this has happened. This is the second time the Harris campaign baited and switched on Beyonce fans. According to X Post, quoted by Daily Mail, critics claim rally goers just wanted to catch a free Beyonce concert. Of course, those Beyonce tickets are, what, $300 and up or, or $1,500? I don't know. I, hey. Um, so calling the lack of a performance unbelievable. So let me get this straight. Kamala Harris baited people with a free Beyonce concert and then had Willie Nelson perform. Wrote one ex user. Talk about a bunch of pissed off concert goers. So, yeah, they were expecting a free concert from Beyonce, but Beyonce obviously is not going to go up there and be Megan the Stallion at a rally for Kamala Harris. Uh, you know, I don't understand what this campaign is doing. Whoever is running Kamala Harris's campaign, they should never work. They should never be hired to work on anyone else's campaign again, because this is the most. First of all, this is the most horrible campaign I've ever seen. And really, Kamala Harris should not have stepped in. She should have left when Biden left. And they should have had a oh, they should have had a primary. Biden should have got out of the race a lot sooner. I personally think that they were hoping to ride Biden into a second term, then push him out and let Kamala become the president without having to do any real uh, fight for it. 
But as fate has it, uh, they pushed him out early. And uh, Kamala, wanting to just ride the wave, went on in there when she knew, when in all honesty, she's not ready for something like that. She's really not ready for something like that. She she really isn't. Um, she's not ready to, and I don't think she ever will be, ready to be the president. And the the thing is, being the vice president, you're one heartbeat away from being the actual president. So she should be up on all the policies. She should be up on all the information. She She's not, the vice president is not a ceremonial window dressing role. That person has to be ready to step in, especially when you have an old president like Biden who's in cognitive decline, she had to be ready to step in at any moment that he, he, you know, dropped dead or uh, stepped aside or whatever. So if she's not ready now, then she'll never be. I mean, you're sitting right there. You've been given certain responsibilities. So I think that people are starting to let it sink in that there's going to be a second Trump term because if you have to, uh, you know, drag these celebrities out, and I know they come out in every election, why they do, why Beyonce, why Usher, why certain people are coming out when they really hesitated before, even the Obamas, uh, hesitated to endorse Kamala Harris, uh, Obama had wanted there to be a primary. So, you know, I think Kamala Harris' legacy would have been better served had she just left with Biden. And then maybe in four years, um, start clean, start fresh. A lot of people are saying that she's not doing so well in the polls is because people don't know her. Yeah, yeah, people do know you. They 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 know you. They just don't like you. Um, that's why they're not voting for you. It has nothing to do with your race. It has nothing to do with your gender and all of these other window dressing uh, excuses that the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party should stop going into their little back rooms and choosing who their candidates are going to be. Let it organically happen. Let it let the people get behind that candidate. Let them be enthusiastic behind that candidate. And uh, let's just have real elections where people are genuinely behind the candidates that they are presenting in these parties. Anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you.